Welcome everyone. This is the Cozy Getting Started Workshop. So today we're going to talk about everything Cozy has to offer, including how to list and advertise your rental, how to collect rent, how to review applications and screening reports, how to track maintenance requests, expenses, all these awesome things. And we're also going to show you the absolute best ways to use all of these features as well to make your lives as landlords and property managers a lot easier. We just really want to help take that unneeded stress out of managing your rentals to give you more time to do, well, everything else, I suppose. But by the end of the demo, you should feel totally confident using Cozy to take the stress out of managing your rentals. So here's the game plan. We're going to do an intro and a short overview. Then we'll get right into the features. And I'm going to stop after each section just to answer a few questions uh, that have come in live but we're gonna finish up with some more live Q&A at the end as well. We're also gonna be recording this, so that means you'll receive a link to view the recording just a little while after the webinar concludes. So let's do an introduction. So who's speaking to you over the interwebs here? I'm Jordan, I'm the customer success manager here at Cozy. My focus is really on education, so I'm sure some of y'all have heard the term customer success manager and it's focused on conversion and sales and things like that. Not the case here. My focus is really helping people learn about Cozy and make sure that they understand it and help them figure out if it's going to be a good fit for them. If it is, we also want to make sure that we give you the tools necessary to confidently use Cozy because there's nothing worse than being excited for a product, signing up, and then not knowing what to do. So not the case here. That's why we're here at the demo today. So I live in Portland, Oregon, where Cozy is headquartered. And I've pretty much been a renter for most of my adult life. So questions and concerns on the landlord side around finding great tenants or advertising your rental, collecting rent, or even on the renter side of things, finding a place to live, submitting an application, paying rent, all these things are something I've been a part of. So I'm really happy to be with, uh, with you today and, and walk you through Cozy. So a big part of this demo is answering questions live. And we encourage you to ask us your questions here throughout the session. And I'm going to be monitoring those as well. So you can type those questions in your GoToWebinar control panel in this little question box right in the middle. You can also expand it with the little arrow if you just want a little bit more room to type. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to stop between each section to answer a few questions. But I also want to make sure that we do get through all the features. So we'll also have a dedicated Q&A section for, uh, I'd say, about the last 10 minutes to address any remaining questions. So what are we doing today? What's uh, Why are we all gathered here? So today I'm going to show you the ins and outs of Cozy. I'll share some pro tips and go over the best ways to use our tools so you can see if we'd be a nice fit for your needs. So whether you're frustrated with your current property management tool and know there's a better solution out there, maybe you've been doing everything manually yourself or, or even completely new to managing rentals, you're definitely in the right place watching the right demo. So welcome. Cozy offers listings and website creation for those listings, online applications, renter screening, rent collection, as well as maintenance requests and expense tracking. And best of all, it's at no cost for you to use. We're available anywhere you have internet. And in fact, we see about a third of renters using Cozy on their phone. And since our site is fully mobile compatible, it'll look great on a phone or tablet too. And you're gonna have all the same features and functionality. So whether you're on your laptop uh, or phone, you're not gonna be missing out on the ability to track expenses or maintenance requests or whatever it is. So we actually focus really on, on five big, big aspects that all kind of come together to help you bring your rental business online with Cozy. So the very first one is helping you market your rentals and listings. And what that means is you can create a beautiful website with Cozy and then advertise for free to fill your vacancies fast through our partners. So your listings are going to look super professional and polished. We also offer applications and screening. So you can use our free online application for potential renters to apply. We also offer screening reports that your applicants can order as part of the application process, or you can request them separately later. Cozy's online applications just really simplify the process and best of all, helps you save time. So perhaps our core feature here is rent collection. Once you find a renter, or even if you have an existing one, you can still use Cozy's free automated rent collection it just takes a few minutes on the landlord and renter's ends. And again, it's completely free for you, for, you to, for you to use, excuse me, as landlords. I got excited about the free part. It's also free for renters to pay using their checking account. 
or with a card for a small transaction fee. We also offer maintenance requests. So this is huge to keep all your communications in one place and streamline the process so the, those creaky doors or leaky faucets get fixed fast. Then we also offer expense tracking. So great tool for tax prep time, which I realize is now upon us. I just got the email from my tax preparer today. Or this is also great for just being able to track your expenses month over month. Always nice to just keep tabs on those. But perhaps the most important thing is, again, this is all 100% free for you as landlords or property manager, managers. So uh, again, we're going to end with live Q&A. But if you have questions about what we're talking about in real time, please send those in. Type those into your GoToWebinar little question box, and I'll answer a few during the breaks in between each section of Cozy. So now my favorite part, aside from the questions, is let's get into Cozy and see how this all works. So let me log into an account here. Um, and so this is a real life cozy account, but all the private info is anonymized. So we really take security seriously here. We never log into someone's actual account, but uh, because everything is anonymized for security reasons, you might see some weird addresses or names or things like that. But what you're seeing here is the actual dashboard when you first log into cozy. So you're brought to your properties page and you'll see a card for each one of your setups. So you can kind of just at a glance, see what's going on. Are you collecting rent? Uh, do you have a, you know, an active listing? What's going on with your properties? Then toward the left over here, there's a panel with each section so you can dig in deeper if you want to. So where we're going to start today is with creating a property uh, because that's really the first step to most anything in Cozy. So that's going to be our first step too. So let me just go up here and click new property. And what's cool here is Cozy supports single unit and multi-unit homes. So you just want to click on which one that you're setting up here. If your property has multiple units, so an apartment building, duplex, even if you're renting out of rooms in your home, then you choose multiple units. So let's say today I'm going to rent out my duplex here. So let's do this, pop in our address, and then we'll add our units. I'm just going to do units A and B. You can put in whatever. I know a lot of landlords and property managers will use like the, the renter's name or if you're renting out your home, maybe like master bedroom or, or basement or whatever. Uh, but just for today, I'm going to do A and B here. Do that. And that's how quick it is. It took, <laughs> you know, like 10 seconds to add your property to Cozy. So what happens after that is you kind of come to this fork in the road. So we want to see, you know, how, how do you want to use Cozy now that you've added your property? So we'll ask you, do you want to create a listing and find new renters? Or do you want to set up a rent collection term and just get right into collecting rent? So in this case, we're going to start with creating a listing since that's really the first step to finding a, a great new renter. And instead of actually creating a listing from scratch, what we're going to do is we're going to review one that's already been put together and then we're going to talk through each section but what that means is at the end we're also going to be able to see what a live listing looks like and basically exactly what an applicant would see if they're going to apply to one of your properties that you're advertising on cozy so let me go to our listing section here and uh let's pick one of these homes let's do kitty for it so listings in cozy are a great way to create a beautiful website for your rental and what I mean by that is when you create a listing in Cozy, you get a unique link that you can share with potential renters. And you basically get a dedicated web page for each one of your listings, which is great because your listing also serves as an online application. So you'll be able to easily promote your listing when and where you need to. That also means when applicants want to submit an application, they're not having to run from the listing page to the application page and all over the place. It's all in one, um, one area at one place for them. So it makes things huge. You know, we've seen that the more potential applicants or renters have to run around from page to page, just like anything else. If you're ordering something, you have to go to a bunch of different pages, the likelihood that you're going to complete the process is going to go down. So having all in one place is huge for getting those applications. So the very first step to a listing is adding some basic information. So bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. The most important part here, or the one that I would say to spend the most time on, is the listing headline and description. 
this is before even the photos and things like that. This is the thing that's going to give the initial kind of tone and impression of your property to potential renters. So spend some time here crafting a listing headline, give a good description. Um, here's a lot of that that random, uh, the random Latin for security anonymization here. But you know, really spend some time crafting what makes your rental unique here. On the next page, you're just gonna add some more details. So pet policy, do not allow pets, maybe cats are okay. If it's negotiable, maybe you allow hamsters and parrots or something like that. Uh, whatever it is, you can make that known here. And then you can include any other features or amenities in your unit. Uh, it's pretty much all here, parking or outdoor space. But you know, if there's something that really makes your unit special that's not listed here, or even if it is and you just wanna call extra attention to it, this any other amenities box is a great way to do that. So cable TV ready or washer and dryer included, fenced in backyard or like great great view of the river. You know, whatever it may be, I think I think any space you can use to talk more about your rental is important to utilize. So please feel free to to type in here and call out the things that make your rental super special. So moving right along here, the next is rent and deposit. So we're just going to tell potential applicants what the rent and deposit amount are, or the rent and deposit amounts are. You can also indicate the lease duration and when it's available. So just as a note, these are these are optional. You don't you don't have to include these. You can put don't specify a duration. But I know from my personal experience of renting places that I'm usually juggling, I'd say two or three places that I'm really, really serious about. So I'm comparing lease durations. Is this 12 months? Is this 24 months? Months a month? Then when it's available, like this is huge because you know the hardest part of moving is the actual moving part. So you need time to plan, set up movers. You also want to know how far in advance that, that you need to bribe your friends with pizza and soda or whatever it is. But if you fill these areas out, it just gives the applicants more information so they can make a decision. So I would say this is something to definitely uh, go ahead and add some info to. So the next part is the media section, which I really like because this is where we get to show off our rental. You can add as many photos as you'd like. Uh, you can delete them, add new ones. If you have multiple photos, you can toggle them to which one you want to display first. And the reason that's important is the very first image you have listed is going to be your cover image. So this is the very first photo folks are going to see on your listing, and you want it to be the best representation of your property. Like this would be like the school photo version of your property, the one that you really want to show show off to everyone. So keep that in mind here. You can also add a video tour. So if you were to record a video and upload it to YouTube, you could stick the link here, and that way potential applicants could go through a little video tour, which I think is super helpful. I mean, sometimes pictures just don't quite capture the depth or the dimensions of a room or something, and kind of having a video tour paired with that is super helpful. So again, it's optional. You don't have to, but I would definitely recommend if you can, just stick one in there. Um, it helps. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Next is uh, the screening section. So I promise that we're going to get really in depth into screening reports. We'll look at them, talk about them more. But just for the sake of listings, what we're saying here is, do we want applicants to order and share screening reports with us when they're filling out an application? So if that's the case, keep those boxes checked. Maybe you just want a credit report and no background check. Keep that box checked. But maybe, maybe you don't want any screen reports. Perhaps you'd like to collect applications, kind of vet some people, and then decide who you'd like to move forward with and request reports later. You could totally do that too. Something to keep in mind is screening reports are free for landlords. These are actually paid for by applicants. So it's $24.99 for one report or $39.99 if they order both. So they get a little savings there. What's also cool is because applicants are pulling their own credit report, it's not going to ding their credit which is huge, so there's, there is a benefit there. So in this case, I'm just gonna say these are both required since that's pretty, pretty customary. Next step is we're just gonna take a look at our listing, make sure everything looks good, headline, rent, screening. On this page too, you can also add contact info to your listing. So what that means is if you wanna add an email or a phone number to be displayed on your listing, so applicants or potential applicants can reach out with questions before they apply, that this is where you do it. So you don't have to, you can turn that off, but we always encourage at least one piece of contact information just because we've seen that the likelihood that someone is gonna apply after they get their question answered goes way up. So definitely consider maybe a phone number, that, that's a little tougher, but if you just have an email you can throw in there, 
that's super helpful. So uh, next step here is we're just going to activate things. So uh, let's turn this on. All right, we did it, everyone. Uh, so now what happens is when you activate your listing, we help you advertise it. So we syndicated for free to two great advertising sites we partner with, which are Realtor.com and Doorsteps.com. And that means you can choose to send your listing to those sites automatically and for free so you can reach an even larger pool of renters. You could also use your apply link here to create listings on other sites. Uh, maybe you wanted to advertise on like hot pads or uh, something like just any other site listing site. You can do that with your link. You could share directly to Facebook or Twitter. You could text this link to people. You can put on little pieces of paper and share your open house. The important thing is that your apply link is kind of like the hub for your property. So anytime you're sharing it with someone or on a site, that's kind of what you want to go to. Now, uh, I know the whole point for us to walk through this was to see what a listing looks like after we're, we've done, after we've finished, you know, setting it up. That's what we're going to do now. So I'm just copying and pasting that apply link that I was talking about. And and here's, here's what it's going to look like. So this is the dedicated website for your rental here. So here's that very first photo, the cover image. Here's all the information we put in, bedroom square footage, listing description, all the features and amenities. Uh, you even get a map too. So uh, I know it's a demo site, so we know you're not renting a, a raft in the middle of the ocean to Tom Hanks and Wilson. Maybe you are, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this is really helpful for folks who move from out of town. Like I, I think we often overlook the maps on listings. Like I know where that is. But for me, when I moved from LA to Portland, I was just kind of like, what? what quadrant am I in? What side of the river am I on? So this is super helpful too, but everything's all in one place all the info for your listing, and then if someone wants to apply on the, the renter side, uh, they would see a little uh, apply now button here. So uh, we've just seen how, how quick it is to add your property to Cozy and how to create a listing to start advertising and finding a great new renter. The next step here is we're gonna talk about online applications. So you know, basically at this point you've created a listing and you're, you're like, what do I do next? So we're going to get into how applications work, which will help you easily review and compare applicants. So you can easily get started with the best fit for someone to apply. Uh, you can send them your listing link, which we just looked at, or they can find your listing on realtor and doorsteps. Once you activate your listing and syndicate it, you can also share your listing link in your social media feed. Like I mentioned, if you just wanted to advertise to your, your internal network there. So uh, let's take a look at some applications here. Um, I, I, saw, I saw a few folks uh, email some questions um, that came in after. So I promise I see these are kind of like listing slash application related. So I promise uh, I'll get into these after we stop for our next question break. So I will, I will not forget you. <laughs> All right, so let's get into applications here. So let's pull, let's pull one up from, let's do a co-applicant one here. So uh, when you get an application or screening report, we're always going to reach out to let you know. So it's not going to be where you have to keep refreshing the page incessantly to see when one has come in. We'll send you a notification so you can come in and check it out. And when you get to your applications page, you'll just kind of see an overview first. So some contact info, whether screening reports were required, a little income versus rent breakdown. So right off the bat, you know, are, are these applicants going to be able to afford the rent? So it looks like they're probably OK here. But once you're ready to drill down and see, you know, what is actually in their application, just click on view profile here. So cozy applications are general applications and they include, you know, most of the usual info you would find on other ones. So, you know, birthday, employment and income history, current and previous, same with residence history. They can add references, which is kind of cool emergency contact. We have some questions too. Have they filed for bankruptcy or refused to pay rent? Um, you know, you're trying to get a full picture of this applicant and these questions definitely help. What's really important here is at the bottom, there's this green bar and it says, you know, uh, that this person has certified the information is correct and granted permission for current former employers to release the information. So basically what this is, is the very last step of the process when applicants are filling out their application, is they're going to certify that yeah this information is accurate we're not we're not sliding lies in this application but also that they're giving you the landlord or property manager permission to follow up on whatever is included here so that means you know whether it's these references 
It's their employment history you need to follow up on. It's fair game for you to follow up. So you, you have the AOK -okay from them. Now, for the most part, people are going to be pretty cool about helping out. But, you know, sometimes there's security standards and they'll say, hey, uh, you know, I'd really love to help you out, but I need to see proof that like Roman, for example, gave you permission. And you can say, no problem. If you need to give it, give this to them in person, you can print it out, it's printer friendly, or print it to a file, file to email it. The important thing though, is that you get in the screen bar, because this is where it shows the data, the certification, all that kind of stuff. And then you should be pretty much good to go. So applications are pretty clear, straightforward, easy to read. Um, you'll have a copy, your, your applicant has a copy, so it makes it easy, eliminates all the paperwork, no more juggling all those paper applications. <laughs> so, Applications are pretty straightforward. Um, now, I, I want to talk through screening reports. I know I kind of teased them a little uh, when we were going through the listing, uh, but now I know these are super important to everyone, so that's what we're going to get into now. So the screening reports in Cozy, I really enjoy because they make it super easy to determine if your applicant is going to be a good fit, and you can also manage your reports all online. So again, no more, pap no more paper juggling. You can either request screening reports as part of an application or request them separately later. So that's what we're gonna get into now. So let me go to our screening our screening page here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up a couple of sample reports and then we'll talk through each of them. We'll talk about what's included uh, and then we'll also come back and talk about how you request screening reports directly if, uh, if you don't wanna require them with the application. So let me blow this up here. Perfect. So uh, we're going to start with the credit reports. And with, for credit reports, we partner with Experian, who's you know pretty much the industry leader in credit reporting. And what I really enjoy about their reports is not only are they comprehensive, but that they're really easy to read. You're not going to have to put on you know your super your super thick reading glasses to, to you know scan through the data. They lay it out really nicely. Um, you know whether it's you're more of a numbers person or you like to visualize the data in a chart, you know, right off the bat, you get what's their credit score? What's the comparison to other consumers? How are their monthly payments broken down? Their debt, you can see their payment history. Um, and, and it's just, it, again, it's not things that aren't shown in other credit reports. It's just the fact that it's laid out very nicely so you can kind of see and get to what you need. What's also important is whenever applicants order screening reports, not only do you get a copy, they get a copy as well, the exact same copy. So first of all, that's huge for security reasons. Nobody's doctor, nobody's gonna be able to doctor a, a screening report because you're getting the exact same copy. So no funny business there. Um, it's also nice because you don't have to worry about supplying them with a copy and you'll both stay on the same page. You'll both know what, what each other are, are looking at, whether it's the monthly payment breakdown, total debt or whatever. So. It's nice, helps you stay organized, helps you stay on the same page, and it's easy to read. So right off the bat, you'll know if your uh, applicant is financially responsible. So those are credit reports in Cozy. Oh, something else I, sh I should mention. Screening reports are available for 30 days in Cozy. So that's part of a security agreement we have with Experian. Um, you can, if you do want to keep a paper copy for your records, you can always print them out. They're printer friendly. Uh, so keep that in mind. But if you do want to view them in Cozy, uh, you'll have 30 days to do that. All right, so let's move to background checks. So oh, let me zoom out. That's the largest background check ever. So we're actually looking at two different background check reports. There's one on the left and one on the right. So we'll talk through each. But first, uh, kind of the overview is we partner with a company called Checker, and they're really awesome because they do this really comprehensive search. They do an SSN trace, civil search, sex offender search, global watch list search, national criminal search, county criminal search, and they, they work pretty quickly too. So on the left, uh, this is an example of an all clear report. So it means we, we searched all those areas, nothing was found, so all clear, all green, all good, it's basically the, the TLDR too long didn't read for that. Now on the right, this is an example of something being found. So it looks like we're good through the SSN trace. Oh, something was found in a civil search. And civil searches also include eviction searches, by the way, which is obviously, of course, something we want to know as landlords or property managers. So what's also neat with Checker is if they find something, it's not just like, hey, we found we found the civil search record. Good luck figuring out what it is. And you have to do this whole clue mystery thing. No, if you scroll down, you'll see exactly what it is. So in this case, it 
it's an eviction record. And you know, you'll see information about it too, case number, the filing date, the event, the court jurisdiction, all the things that you need to be able to make a solid decision about your applicant is gonna be listed here. So what's also really neat about Checker is the comprehensiveness. And you'll see that there's a national and a county search. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. We've all seen online where it's like instant comprehensive background check in 60 seconds. And it sounds great. Uh, I, it sounds awesome. I wish it, I wish it were true, but like, unless you're in law enforcement or the government, that doesn't actually exist. And the reason, the reason is though, there are thousands of counties in the United States and a lot of them just haven't digitized their databases for their records. So whether it's financial restraints or, or just the bandwidth of people to do so, the fact of the matter is they just not all counties have digital records databases. So that means in those instant online searches, you're missing out on, on anything that hasn't been digitized. So eviction things or felonies or whatever it is. I mean, all the info that you'd like to know as a landlord or property manager is not being reported. So what Checker does is if they find the match at the national level, uh, they'll go to the county level to confirm it. So it's not a person with a similar name or whatever. So if it's available online, obviously they'll pull it online because that's way easier. If it's not available online, they actually send someone in person to the county records office because one way or another, they're getting they're getting that record to confirm it and, and give you that information in the report. So in most cases, background checks take a couple of hours. Some of them can take a little bit longer, and that's usually if there's manual work involved, like sending someone to a records office and they have to submit a request and things like that. But uh, no matter what the case is, whenever a screening report, so like a credit report or a background check is ready, we'll email you uh, to let you know. So like I said earlier, you can either request these as part of an application or request them separately. So I wanna show you how to request them separately really quickly. Um, if we go over here to uh, our screening page and request reports, we'll come to a page first and all we'll need, uh, do, what kind of report do we wanna request? Applicant's name, email address. They get a cool little email from us, letting them know that it's been requested. We'll walk them through the steps and then when it's ready or whenever they've ordered the reports uh, and they're ready to, for you to view them, we'll send you an email to let you know. So those are screening reports. Um, you know, we went through how applications and screening reports work in Cozy. We talked about the benefits of having them online, and mainly saving all that paper, <laughs> but also security reasons too and being on the same page. Uh, we also talked about how you can screen applicants through your listing or separately. Next, we're gonna talk about rent collection. So at this point, hopefully you've received an abundance of applications and screening reports from like all these great applicants and you're now ready to move forward with someone and set up rent collection. So that means the hardest part of advertising your listing, screening, and finding a renter is over. Uh, setting up rent collection in Cozy is the easy part. So rent collection in Cozy just really allows you to be done once and for all with those pesky paper checks, be able to easily manage all those renter payments with a few clicks, and then check in on payments whenever you need to, which is huge. A Cozy rent collection term is the rent collection tool itself representing the payment agreement you have with your tenant. So keep in mind, this isn't a legal lease or rental agreement. So you'll need to take care of that outside of Cozy for now. With me speaking, it'll just take a couple of minutes, but I'm sure you can go even faster without me kind of narrating here. So first, let's see, went to payments, um, and then we went to set up rent. So let's pick, uh, let's do this one. Uh, let's do, let's do even a B, let's do a curveball here. Click continue. So if you have an existing renter, you can still get started with rent collection in Cozy. Uh, you would just enter the start date in the past or whenever it started. And then later on, Cozy will ask you when you want to collect your first payment through Cozy. Uh, you can have a month to month or a fixed term lease. You can always modify this as well if you want to, or if you need to extend the rent collection term. So don't feel like you can't make changes uh, if you need to. So let's put in, uh, let's add these dates here. Let's do, March 1st, 2020. The next step is we're just gonna add the renters at the unit or, or anyone who's gonna pay rent. Um, you, you'll also, the, well, what happens here is after you add the information, you'll just need their name and email address and then Cozy will send them an email that guides them in setting up payments to you. If you have multiple renters, you'll add them all here. And then on the next step, you'll enter the total amount of rent for the uh, for the unit on the next step, and each renter can then claim their portion of the rent. 
So let's keep going here. Next, we're gonna just gonna tell Cozy what the recurring rent amount is. Uh, it the due date it defaults to the first, but you can choose any day that you'd like. You can also collect prorated rent if you'd like. Let's pop that in there. You can set up automatic late fees. So you would just enter when you'd uh, when you'd like to add a fee in the amount. Something to note is we don't have daily late fees right now. So it's basically after this many days, this late fee would be applied. So there's not escalating ones right now. Hopefully in version two, we have that. That's probably been the biggest piece of feedback. But the way automatic late fees work is renters get an email on the day their rent is due as a warning if the total amount of scheduled payments uh, doesn't match the amount that's due. Then landlords and renters will get a confirmation email if a late fee has been applied. So what that means is it's not going to be like a secret ninja late fee that nobody knew was coming. Um, you'll, you'll both be informed. And because it's automatic, it just kind of, you know, you don't have to go paste something on the door or whatever. It just gets added to their ledger. So it just kind of makes it easy to apply those if you need to. So next up is security deposit. You'll just be asked if you want to collect one through Cozy. You can send the security deposit to a different checking account if you want uh, than the one you set up payments for, which I know is a legal requirement in some states, so it's nice to have that. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna say, let's say 2,000. What's cool about move-in costs, so security deposits or any other move-in costs, you can have them due in advance, which I know is like a way to secure the rental or a good faith deposit. Uh, so let's say I want this deal on February 1st. You can also add other move-in costs. These can be due in advance as well. Uh, but this is great for like a, like a pet deposit or something like that, um, other miscellaneous fees. And like I said, with the security deposit, you can have this due in advance, let's say it's due on the first too. You can also add bills later at any point, and I'll show you what that looks like later. Um, so, so don't worry if you don't add them all now. You can also add, this would be the spot to add things like first and last month's rent as well. This is a helpful area. So it's kind of your renter will be able to see everything that they need to pay for moving. Next step is just adding the checking account where we want payments to deposit to. So if you've added an account in Cozy already, you'll, you can select it from the dropdown. If it's your first time, you can add a checking account and you can do that using your bank's login or manually enter the routing and account numbers. So by the login, I mean Cozy integrates with some major banks. Uh, let's say you're with Wells Fargo, you'll see the login portal from your bank and you can log in with your online bank login information and then be able to choose the account that you want to use. So um, you don't have to do it that way. If you're not comfortable using your online bank login or you don't see your bank, so maybe you're using a regional credit union or smaller institution, uh, you can just manually add it here. You'll just need your account and routing numbers. Uh, for now, though, I'm just going to select one that's already been added. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do this one. And here's where you could pick if you wanted a different checking account for security deposits. Uh, moving right ahead. So you can also upload and store documents that are part of your rent collection in Cozy and share them with your renters. So definitely make sure that these can be renter facing. But since we don't have the ability to create and sign leases in Cozy yet, uh, this is where you'd upload a copy of your signed lease or move in or move out checklist or community rules. So anything that you kind of want to share maybe as an onboarding package for your renter, this is a great place to do it. You can also add documents later on the rental details page too. So this isn't the only time, but this is a good time to do it. Next is if you're collecting rent through Cozy, uh, your renters have the option of purchasing a renter's insurance policy through their Cozy account from our partner Assurant. So you'll be able to specify whether insurance is required as part of setting up a new rent collection term. And your renters will be able to purchase a policy when they set up their account or add the details of an existing policy they've already purchased. So they already have one with Allstate or whatever. It's totally cool. They can add the info there. If they don't have one, this is a great way for them to do it as they're getting set up. Last step is to confirm an invite. So make sure all the details look cool. Uh, we can update them later if we want to, but the biggest one is make sure the email is correct so they actually get the invite. All right, looks good. Uh, next thing that happens is when we confirm an invite, Cozy will send an email invitation to your renter and guide them through setting up payments to you. So Cozy is super tenant friendly and most renters can set up payments without instructions. Uh, but in their email, they do get some help from us, a little video on how they can uh, how they can get things set up. But we spent all this time going through the rent collection and how that works. Uh, and I want to show you the rent collection we just created. I'm excited. I felt like this was a team effort here. So we're going to look at this rent collection with all those costs and uh, all those bills and things like that. And 
here it is. So this represents the transactions between you and your renter, provides instant access to your renter's setup status and their scheduled payments so you can stay informed. You can see the current running balance of what's been paid and what's owed. Uh, here are the bills we just created and bills let your tenants know what's due and when, but they don't initiate charges since those need to be scheduled and authorized by your renters. As soon as your renter schedules a payment though, you'll see that as a payment line in green and payments are the actual transactions, meaning that money will go to your bank account. So there aren't any payments here yet because we just invited our renter, me, <laughs> and I haven't set up payments yet, but I'll show you another real rent collection setup with payments on it in a bit. Before we move on though, uh, some other pieces of useful information here. So these tabs at the top, tenants tab. This is where you can see your tenant's registration status. We can see for this one, they aren't ready to pay because they haven't accepted the invitation, but you'll see that update as they kind of move through. Also during your renter setup process, we'll send you an email about five business days before your rent is due, giving you the status of their payment setup so you can follow up if needed. Also at the top, rental details. So here's where you can make edits to your rent collection setup, like extending the term if your renter renews and you wanna extend the rent collection term in Cozy. This is also great for increasing the rent or if you need to add new tenants or roommates or something. Over here to the right, you can also end the rent, rent collection term, which will prevent your renter from paying you through Cozy. So, you know, in the unfortunate event of an eviction, and I hope that never happens, you can simply come here and end uh, the rent collection. So now I wanna switch over to uh, an active ledger with some payments and all that kind of stuff on it. We can dig in a little bit deeper here. Let's do the one with the roommates here. So uh, in this case, we'll, we'll see some more line items on the ledger. We saw previously the bills show up in orange. Uh, this time we'll be able to see some payments and scheduled payments. So you can see payments they've scheduled in blue. If you go to completed, you can see ones that have been, pay, actual payments that have been submitted in green. So if the balance up here is green and zeroed out, that means the renter is up to date on their payments. If you see it showing up in orange, that means they have a balance due. If you have multiple renters like this landlord does, you'll be able to see that each has paid or scheduled a payment for their portion of the rent. Uh, Cozy's system allows partial payments to support easy roommate payments, so it's easy for them to set it up. If you need more info about a payment that's been processed, you can click on it to expand it and you'll see like, you know, when was it deposited? How's the transaction ID gonna look on my bank statement? Which account was it deposited to? These details are only visible to you, so your, your renter isn't gonna see any of this, but if you were curious about some, some, of, that, some of those things for, for that payment, you can check it out. Uh, at the top here, these three buttons are super useful. So add a credit. Uh, this is where you can credit your renter for things and Cozy will send them an email and guide them through applying the credit to their next month's rent. So keep in mind credits don't send them money since only renters can pay landlords, but if they did some yard work or whatever, you wanna give them the credit to apply to a future payment, that's what you'd use that for. Offline payments. So if your renter pays by check, money order, Venmo, or even cash, any kind of payment outside of Cozy, you, you can record that to balance the ledger here. Last but certainly not least, the add a bill button. So you can bill your renters for one-time fees by adding a bill. Good for things like utilities or other miscellaneous bills. When you add a bill, we'll email your renter with instructions on how to send a payment so they know what to do. So how can tenants pay? How long does it take? Renters can pay with their checking account or with a credit or debit card. Checking account payments are free for renters. Card payments have a 2.75% fee paid for by the renter, but again, all of this is free for you as landlords. Cozy's core payment processing time is five business days if your renter is paying by checking account. And that's because we actually do two ACH or bank to bank transactions. First, we verify the funds are available, which is key, obviously. <laughs> then once the funds are available, Cozy immediately begins a deposit to you. If you need funds faster, you can opt into Cozy's Express payouts, which costs $2.99 per unit per month. That'll speed up the payment timeline to three business days. If your renter's paying by credit card, uh, it will take three business days as well. You can also track and check your payment status at any time in Cozy on your ledger. We'll also send you email notifications. So you'll get two each month during rent collection. Uh, first, when your renter's payment is sending, and then again, when your renter's payment is depositing to your account. We also email your renters every month, five days before their rent is due as a reminder. So uh, we, we wanna keep everyone informed, but we also don't wanna spam your inboxes. So you'll just get the crucial updates. 
Uh, we just walked through how easy it was to really start collecting rent in Cozy um, and how you can save time by managing all your rent payments online. Uh, I know we're getting close to like around 10 minutes left. Normally I'd stop for a couple more questions here, but I just wanna get through the last two features. So expense tracking and maintenance requests. Um, these will be pretty quick. And then, then we'll get all into, we'll, we'll devote the rest of the time uh, to questions and I'll even hang out a little bit longer if there's some more in there. Uh, so let's go expense tracking. So you can track your expenses in Cozy, which, you know, we want Cozy to be a one-stop shop to do everything you need to do. And it's really easy to add one. Uh, we use categories direct from the IRS's Schedule E Form 1040. So it makes it really easy to reconcile a tax time. You're not having to like, well, this was under this, but maybe it should be here. It's just kind of an apples to apples thing. You can also upload a copy of your receipts. So you don't have to keep them stashed in a, in a shoe box. We've all been there, so no one be ashamed. So I, I may still keep things in boxes like that, uh, but basically less paper, less headaches, especially when it comes for, to expenses. So expense tracking is pretty straightforward. Uh, maintenance request. So this is super important because again, you want to make sure everything, you can do everything in Cozy. So if you're using Cozy's rent collection feature, you can also use our new maintenance request option. Well, I guess it's not so new anymore. It's the last big feature we, we rolled out, but um, it helps you keep things organized in all in one place. And also all of your conversations can be documented here too for your record. So it's not like so-and-so said this, or I smell on this date. No, we have all the records here. So either you or your renters can open up a new maintenance request. Um, you could add information like pictures or videos, um, files about what needs to be done. And then whenever someone comments, it all stays within Cozy. We'll send a notification to let you know when someone added a new comment, uh, but all the conversation can be done here. So you don't have to worry about knocks on the door or phone calls or uh, carrier pigeons or horseback messenger, <laughs> messengers. Um, it'll all be done here. So it helps things get, get done and finished quickly. Um, what's also kind of cool here is when you have a maintenance request, uh, you can share it with a contractor or team member by clicking the share request link. So what it does, it generates a link you can share with others who need to view the maintenance request, even if they don't have a Cozy account. So that makes it super easy and it doesn't expose any sensitive account information. So those are maintenance requests.